There we go. There we go. The music would be pretty rad, but it's getting tough to kill myself, I think. Oh, great. Now it's not registering the controller? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I had it up the door. Okay, so apparently the controller didn't want to do what it was supposed to do. We're going to try this again. But anyways, while we're waiting for that to restart, what's good, neighborhood? <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so today, like I said earlier, we're going to get back to my uh, Weeb JRPG roots. Now, the big thing, like, recently, what can I say? Recently, I had been spending a lot of time, you know, finding, you know, finding various Digimon clips on, finding various Digimon clips on YouTube, and, you know, just sitting down and actually, you know, Talking with, you know, talking with the misses about just Digimon and Pokemon, you know, the, the old school, you know, monster breeder, monster tamer games and shows that we just enjoy. And it just. It made me think, you know? made me think that I really wanted to get back to not just watching the Digimon anime, but also back to playing the games. So here we are. Since it's been so long, 
What am I in the middle of doing? What am I in the middle of doing? Let's take a look and find out. Hey, what's good, Chop? Dog. That that Dreamcast emulator, Flycast. It's a damn good emulator, dude. I'm telling you. Like Okay, here's the thing. The thing that drew me to Flycast was actually the fact that I saw that it was used for Fightcade. Like, Flycast is the Dreamcast emulator that folks that play Fight Hate recommend using. And then after seeing that there was a uh, rollback netcode patch going for that to help fight Cade matches improve that much more. I mean, I, I had no choice practically. I had to pick it up. Alright, so that right there is all necessary. All cases done. Which Street Fighter 3 did you try? Did you do, uh, was it the double impact or did you just go for straight for third strike? Yeah, no, if you look for a Street Fighter 3 Double Impact, it's basically a Dreamcast port of New Generation and Second Impact all on one, all on one disc. Let's pop in here. 
four new cases added. Scramble pentagram. Black Goblin Mons property, Wood Mons property, and Black Gato Mons property. Fighter 3, let's see, a new gen, second impact, and third strike got ports, Alpha 3 got a port, oh, what are some other really badass games from like the end of the 90s that got ports? Let's see, Garo, Mark of the Wolves, KOF 99, 2000, and 2001 all got ports on the Dreamcast. Let's see, Last Blade 2. Well, before I do that... Looks like we're probably just going to do it. 
pretty well power level like that. You know, it's really kind of cool seeing, you know, seeing how not only Digimon has been seeing something of a resurgence, and especially with, like, you know, the, with uh, the vital bracelets and the uh, Digimon Project 2021. But between that and you know, Monster, Monster Rancher 1 and 2 being ported to the Switch later this year. You know, it's really nice seeing you know, more of the classic Monster Breeder games than just Pokemon getting their time in the spotlight. Don't sweat it, bruh. I'm right there with you. clip that I saw from uh, Digimon Adventure. I believe it was, yeah, Digimon Adventure Last Evolution. And what the clip literally was, was Ty and Matt activating, basically setting up Gabumon and Agumon's final, final Digimons. And like the monsters they turned into were Absolutely. Yeah, the ones the ones that I watched like the ones that I watched the most were Let's see. Digimon Adventure and Adventure Zero Two. So, you know, the first two seasons of the original. Let's see. It was those two. Oh, Digimon Frontier and uh, Digimon Data Squad. Like, those were the, those were the four Digimon series slash seasons that I had watched. As far as the, uh, <clears throat> let's see, as far as what's going to be going on for the next couple days with the stream, uh, I think you're going to like this job. Because uh, tomorrow, since we got another update and a new Prime Warframe coming out, I'm going to be going ahead and jumping back onto Warframe to stream and seeing what I can do about trying to uh, farm the relics for, for Nidus Prime. And then on Thursday, Thursday is going to be interesting because I'm going to leave it up to the missus to pick which game I play for Thursday's, you know, for Thursday's September stream. So Lord only knows what kind of, like Lord only knows what kind of mischief I'll be getting into at that point. 
Yeah, I mean, I remember, like, I remember, you know, even back when they were on Saturday mornings, you know. My parents and my cousins still watch Pokemon you know, pretty regularly when it came on. But, I don't know, it was just, I had hit that point where I was kind of, <clears throat> kind of burned out on Pokemon. But then I really loved watching, like, Digimon and Monster Rancher. And even when I wasn't playing those in particular, I was playing, you know, other monster breeder type PS1 and PS2 games like Dragon Seeds, Jade Cocoon, and of course the Digimon World games. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, folks actually saw the little investigations in this game as tedious. But at the same time, I look at it like this, you know. Over the course of doing all this busy work, I'm also leveling up my Digimon and, you know, prepping them to Digivolve, so it's... You know, it's got that sort of underlying additional reward. Property that's in Kowloon 2. So we can get that investigation done really fast and then, uh, the next, uh, major investigation of the main story. kind of makes me think back to just how 
It makes me think back to how my Saturday mornings used to be, you know? Yeah, you spend your Saturday mornings watching anime or you know, watching cartoons with your siblings or your brothers. And then once it hits like 11 or so, you go out, you do the yard, and you get to go outside and play around. And it's just... It was nice. And now that... You know, now that you've gotten older, now that all your siblings are grown up, and your relatives are either older or gone... You, know, you really miss those days. It's not even so much the nostalgia of what you used to do or what you used to watch, but more than anything, you miss the person you were back then. You miss, you miss the people you back then, not just your relatives, not just your friends. my case, I have never been in a position or held down a job where I could actually have, you know, an entire weekend off, you know, it had to be, you know, it basically had to be Sunday and Monday, I could never look forward to, like, three-day weekend, I can never really look forward to you know, being off on Saturdays and Sundays, being able to you know, spend that time talking to my brothers or my relatives, or many of my relatives, you know. I mean, you know, Sundays, you know, Sundays, <clears throat> Sundays are when I sit down and I, you know, focus on what I'm going to do for the podcast, or, you know, resting or straightening up from, you know, the day that I spent working before. Mondays, it's the start of the work week, so you've got to deal with, like, appointments and, you know, getting into offices when business hours are open, so that way you can get shit handled. I don't know, I guess today is just... I'm sorry. I guess today is just one of my more pensive days. I miss really having weekends. That's what it is. Alright, chap. You go on and get yourself some rest, man. I'll catch you next time.
Second, I'll be right back. It's not going to be an intermission, but I do need to check on something. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, let me just jump over here. I want to see. Let's see who else is going to be here. Uh, who else wants to pop in and hang out for a while? Here we go.
this and get ourselves out of here. But since we've already finished up those three investigations, I think we're gonna go on the main one. one that popped up after uh, dealing with that girl in the other section. Kakumon's about to hit 25. Garumon is also about to hit 25. Nice. He just got messed up. <laughs> Research Club.
Okay, so we're gonna go uh, talk to some folks, figure out what's going on with this uh, urban legend. Much like that girl at the intersection said. at the same time but nothing doing <laughs> hello urban legend There she is.
Something is definitely going on. Investigation's done. So with that being said, before we get into the next part of the story, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and, well, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and call it a stream for now. It's been just short of an hour, and it's, you know, again, it's given me some time to really just reflect. Yeah, reflect on, well, Reflect on the kind of thing that I'd like everyone to actually experience some of when I have them on the streams, and that's nostalgia. You know, we gotta have, we gotta have our time to be able to just go back and you know, we, we gotta be able to have our time to just go back and really live that sort of 
uncomplicated life that we haven't been able to for so long. That uncomplicated life that we've been missing. Because, let's face it, if we don't get the chance to do so, then... Then our everyday lives will just crush us. I don't want that to happen to me. And I certainly don't want that to happen to any of you. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and close it out. So, that's day seven of September. The streak continues. All day eight, tomorrow, it's going to be Wednesday. So, we're going to be, you know, I guess, in a way, we're going to be bringing back Warframe Wednesday. So, keep an eye out for that. And the day after that, it's going to be... It's going to be a special stream for day nine, because the missus is going to pick what I play. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to seeing what she decides to have me sit down and stream for you guys. But, until then, you have yourselves a great Tuesday evening. And as always, stay good, neighborhood. I'll see you next time.